guys, it's Chris. I'm coming at you at you tonight at huh, 1 o'clock, 1.30, something like that in the morning. So excuse my hot messedness. My hot messedness. This is what you get at 1.30 in the morning. But I wanted to get this video out and up because I am doing a favorite brand collab with some of the girls in Beauty and Beyond. And I'm going to... love that group. I'm going to link to that group and I'm also going to put all their channel links below. Everyone's sort of uploading at a different time so if I have the link to their video I will post the link directly to their video. If not it's going to be called my favorite brand collab so you guys can easily find it on their channels but I highly 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 suggest. I think there's like maybe eight of us doing this and we all got a different brand of makeup so yeah we're gonna just tell you some I don't even know I can't wait to watch everyone else's videos to be honest I'm gonna tell you my favorite brand and I'm gonna tell you my pros and cons like my favorites of the brand and what I don't think is okay of the brand and that kind of stuff so anyway all the links will be down below so once you check out mine please go and check out everybody else's and give them a thumbs up maybe a subscribe if you like what you see because they're really 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 great girls so I was super, super, super duper excited about this collab. Um, and as soon as I heard what it was going to be, I jumped on it because my favorite brand, if you don't already know, and if you can't tell by this box, is It Cosmetics. It's one of, it has to be one of my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite makeup brands. Let's just get them out of the way because everybody knows about these. <sighs> I'm sighing in delight. Their brushes, okay? I have got so many, these aren't even all of them, but I have so many brushes by it. It is known for their brushes. I think that's one of the big things that they are known for is their brushes. They are so soft and absolutely amazing. This is their powder slash blush, they call it their blush brush. But I like it for powder. I mean, it's good for putting, you know, a little bit of blush on. But I like it for their powder. This is the CC Angled Buffing Foundation Brush. I don't really like this so much for foundation. I actually like this for blush. That's what I like it for. Um, I like it for contouring, highlighting. I can put, you know, my contour, my blush, my highlight and then kind of buff it all together here. That's what I like it for, just sweeping it on. I don't find that it's de as densely packed as I like for a foundation brush, but it's really gorgeous. And again, like, it's just so nice. It's more dense than the other one, obviously, but there, I can't say enough. This is a great, great, great brush. This is a concealer brush, concealer highlight brush. This little end is quite dense, very good for patting out your concealer. And this side, I like this to use this also for blush. Um, and this is the original, their original flat top kabuki buffing brush that came with their all famous It Cosmetics uh, Celebration Foundation. I'm gonna tell you what I think about this too. Here's three of my eight crease eye crease brushes which I just they are perfect and they're just so soft and I got these at Ulta love them to death this is their eyeliner brush to go with the cream eyeliner also a very good brush this brush you guys has changed my eyebrow game not right now because I don't have them on but this is their new build a brow number 12 brush okay can you see it's dirty <laughs> you can see it's dirty. Can you see how it's shaped like a picket fence? So absolutely amazing for absolute for absolutely building those brow hairs. Okay, and then a really great spoolie on the end. So this is an amazing brush too. Wish they would come out with more eye brushes, like a like more. Like I said, because I could buy like eight of these, and I just wish they came out with more of a variety of eye brushes, like a pointed crease brush, and and not just all in a set, but like that you could buy, buy individually, so I could stock up on them but anyway so my next product we'll talk about is the it celebration foundation because this was like a game changer when it came out i personally do not love this foundation i'm gonna be honest i bought it because it was supposedly revolutionary it is a powdered foundation and it's a full coverage it was like the first full coverage powder oops, sorry first full coverage powder foundation i don't love it and the reason i don't love it is i don't love powders so powder foundations on me don't work. Is this full coverage? Yes, it is. You know, I mean, you can just dust this on lightly or you can use it as a full coverage foundation, but it's really meant to be used 
as a full coverage powder foundation, but I'm just not a powder foundation type of girl, so don't love it. So the next thing basically to come out that has been like taking the world by storm is there, and it's well loved as you can see, the CC, um, their uh, CC cream, SPF 50. This stuff is amazing, absolutely amazing, you guys. This is one of my favorite CC creams until they came out with, well, they came out with another one that's illuminating. So you guys know I'm all about the illumination. Full coverage, you know, medium, medium to full coverage. And the illuminating one I found to be a little less coverage, but just gives you the best, dewiest, natural look to your face. I love it. One of their other claims to fame is the It Cosmetics Universal Brow Power. Universal eyebrow pencil. And because it's one color. It is this sort of natural taupe color, but depending on what how much pressure pressure you use, you can go from blonde to black. As you can see, I have very dark brows. Love this is I have never in my life seen anything like this. This is really crazy. It really works. I've used this on other people. I've used this on clients that are blonde. It works just as well for them as it does for people with black hair, like you know, black eyebrows like me who like their eyes eyebrows dark. Just depending on the pressure, light pressure for light brows, more pressure for other brows. One of my holy grails, I'm just gonna just say it right now, and I'm so happy because they came out with it in a pressed version. I haven't tried that yet, but let me tell you, when I get heavy on the, um, there's so many times I'll take like an Instagram picture and people are like, oh my God, like you look amazing. What filter did you use? I didn't use a filter. I used their Bye Bye Pores, um, Poreless Finishing HD Micro Powder, and I do not like loose powders like this. I don't. The one exception I will make is this right here because this literally makes my skin look airbrush. I have no pores, nothing. This is what I use as a finishing powder, as a setting powder. So what they also have, and they have this also in a lipstick, this is the It Cosmetics Vitality Flush Stain Stick. This is in their world famous Je Ne Sais Quoi color, but I will show you what this looks like. See how beautiful it is? It's just very beautiful, but this is the stick version. And I did have the lipstick somewhere. I don't know where it went, but I know it's there somewhere. It's clear, okay? So when you put it on, it transforms into a flush of color. You can use this on your lips. You can use it on your cheeks. I love this on hot days, like summer, hot summer days. Yeah, just transforming before your eyes. I love it. It's really cool. It gives a great, 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 great flush to your cheek when you don't want, you know, something super heavy. If you're just putting on like a tinted moisturizer, this stuff is great. The downside, there is a downside to every cosmetic line is a lot of their stuff is called stain. It's called the stain stick. There's really no staining power to this whatsoever. So, that's a little disappointing. So, so the next thing I'm pulling out of my box that is a stain, okay, and this is new to me, I it's not new, but it's new to me, is their blushes, their Vitality Cheek Flush blush, okay? Now this is not called a stain, but let me tell you, the stain power on this blush is amazing. And I have three, four more colors coming. I have all their colors coming. So this is in Magical Mauve. Let me see if you can see. There it is. I mean, look at that. That would even make a nice eye color, honestly. Here it is, swatched. And this stuff does stay. Love it to death. And a little goes, it's super duper pigmented, so a little, little does go a long way. Um, here's, a, here's a product that I'm not fr thrilled about. One of the products that I'm not thrilled about is their lip. They ne really need to up their lip game. I know that, I mean, they claim all this stuff like, oh, you know, it's got all these antioxidants, all this other stuff. So, you know, to fill in your lines. I have this color on right now. It's called Love Story. It's sort of like my lips, but better. It just looks like my lips, basically. I mean, I don't love it. And again, it's called the Blurred Lines in Love. They have these and they call them lip stains. They don't stain. They don't stain your lips whatsoever. They have glosses that they call stains. They don't. They really need to up their color range as far as their lip products, and they just need to up, amp up their lip products to more opaque kind of things. This is an amazing universal. This is the Your Lips But Better Waterproof Lip Liner, and if this is in Blushing Nude. I'm sorry, it's like super dirty. And it is a really, it is a 
your lips but better nude color it's just kind of that like brownie nude peachy kind of color and it's really really great so that those are really good and those come in a couple different colors too but only a couple like i really want them to up their lip game their their eye brush game and their lip game i want them to up it because i want more something that i like but i don't love okay is their hello lashes and i know some people absolutely love this this is brand new i haven't even taken it out of the package um i did have another i do have did do have another one i like this mascara Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not opening this one because it's brand new. I do like it. it. This is not waterproof. Um, but it is, does it even claim it's smudge proof? No. But I, I do like it. It's got a, little, a lot of good things for your eyes, collagen and all this other stuff. So I, that's one thing I do like about It Cosmetics. It's, it's not only your makeup, but it's your skincare in one. It's really, not... Not that it replaces skincare, because of course it does not. This is their Tight Line Mascara. Um, well, it's, they call it their primer, okay? And when you see this brush, this separates every single lash like no one's business. And for bottom lashes too, absolutely amazing. And I got it also in waterproof. So this is a really good mascara for like gym days. If you just want to go out to the gym this is really good. It's it's stated as a primer. I don't believe really believe in lash primers, all that eyelash primers, but um, I like to use it just as a mascara, a natural looking mascara, just to kind of coat my eyes and make them, you know, look separated and make them look nice. It doesn't build up anything. It doesn't make you know. It doesn't volumize or anything like that. But can these suckers find every single lash? Let me tell you, it can. So. It's not my favorite product anymore. It was when it first came out. It's not my favorite, but now this just came out and a little while ago. And this is their Hello Lashes Extension. This is 24 hour lash extending fiber mascara. Now, unlike your, you're not gonna be able to see this because it's all, because of my lights and it's all silver. This is a game changer, okay? Unlike your other fiber mascaras where you have to put on the, you know, mascara, then put on the fibers. This is all in one. These these have melted fibers inside. It has the same ball um, wand, which is so super good. At first I was like, what is that? But it's so super good at getting all your inside lashes, your bottom lashes, but the fibers are melted into this mascara. And let me tell you, this volumizes and lengthens. It's one of my holy grail mascaras. I love it. Um, this is the Hello Lashes Extension Mascara. Okay, the next thing I have um, is not my favorite. I'm not going to lie. And and a lot of people love this, swear by it. But because I am not, I've used this on clients before and it is sort of game changing. But this is the full coverage. I just, I have two of these, but I'm just going to show you the little one that I have. This is the Bye Bye Under Eye. It's the full coverage waterproof concealer. Good for summer days, um, but I find that it's too much for me. I mean, even if I use a little teeny pea size, it's too much. I don't have super dark circles, so it's not really something that of a great concern to me. So it's sort of too thick of a product, too much of a product underneath my eyes that I just don't, you know, and these are just my opinions, guys, on this brand. So if you're another huge It Girl fan, um, don't yell at me if I'm, you know, dissing your holy grail, but um, these do, it, it, this is absolutely amazing for people who have really, really bad circles. It, it's amazing, it won't, but, but it's not my favorite. What is my favorite is the new CC Plus I 50 SPF Illuminating Under Eye. Now for people with super, um, it comes with this like cool spoon technology, which actually is really super cooling. It's amazing to just get rid of all that puffiness. Um, for people that need more coverage, this is probably not for you. But if you're someone who just needs to kind of brighten up your eye area, it does give coverage. I'm, you know, I'm not going to say it doesn't. It's not waterproof. It does give coverage, but it just gives you the, just the right amount of sun-kissed, not sun-kissed, of illumination without being sparkly underneath your eye. I, holy grail right here. Love it. 
before the predecessor to that was also really good this was your bye bye under eye concealer in wand form which i found this is the concealer part this is the highlighter hello what's it called hello brightener okay what i found is that i use the brightener side much more often comes with just a regular regular doe foot just to brighten my eyes but um what i found is that the concealer side not only being more easier to work with with the doe foot um it was not as thick as the one in the tube but i love this too this was the predecessor the cream gel eyeliner no tug cream gel love it uh wish it would come in more colors um i have an espresso i believe i also have it in navy another game changer right here is the cc no this is the powder this is not this is brand new too don't love this this is the air brush perfecting powder sheer to full coverage optical blurring finishing veil i found this too i'm probably gonna sell this i used it once and i what i found is this to be very very cakey i just did along with all the other powders the only powder per se that i really do love is the bye bye under eye you know when it comes to face powders i mean they're blush of course but you know what i'm saying specific face powders um yeah so don't love that but this is amazing this is their full coverage um cc plus so they have the cc now they have the cc plus um full coverage cream which is which is illuminizing and i love it i just absolutely love it it's so good okay another game changer i was a huge anastasia fan you know the of their dip brow it's good but the build a brow guys this stuff if you're looking for stuff that will not move you could have no brows put this on this is absolutely waterproof it has microfibers in it so it builds up your brows not you know not only does it just color them builds them up game brow game changer seriously love it to death so this is their the it cosmetics <clears throat> contour set this broke i have to repress it so that's why that's over there um i really like it i like this um much better than anastasia and i love it much better i love the colors in here they're a lot cooler they're a lot more contouring um than this big live love laugh vitality disc um, this also has a bronzer in here, which I don't love. This this is very orangey. The blush is gorgeous. The highlighter is decent for light highlight days, but I'm a huge highlight girl. So, you know, um, not my favorite product right here. Do love the blush inside. This product, on the other hand, for contouring and highlighting is just amazing. All cool colors, nothing really orangey amazing to me blows anastasia out of the water i i never use i never pick up my anastasia i think it's been used once i'm probably going to sell that too because okay now last off gotta get these in two of my favorite eyeshadow palettes of all time you guys these are so underrated they're so not talked about enough this is the original it cosmetics naturally pretty when it first came out yeah it was talked about a lot and it kind of fell off still one of my all-time favorites all of these colors are matte colors they're absolutely gorgeous but then they have a transform a transforming pearl so if you put this underneath or on top of any of the powders it transforms these into more of like a sat into more satin colors but these are all matte colors absolutely gorgeous and then they have the 25th i think anniversary or i'm not anniversary palette i don't know if it's still available um but this is the other one and this has a transforming radiance ribbon also but all matte colors absolutely from every range of the rainbow from your neutrals to your pops of color like just absolutely love these love these I love these these create so many eye looks with just these with these two i mean even with just one love this these palettes so anyway guys that's my it cosmetics what i love what i don't check out everybody else's below again like i said if i don't have their links tonight when i upload my video i will have their channel link so you'll be able to go onto their channel and it'll probably be the first video up so you'll be able to find it it'll be our product collab or my favorite product favorite product collab so check them all out guys great great group i'm gonna also post to the group 
enter the group. It's just, it's really, really, really amazing. And if you have any questions about e-cosmetics, just ask me because I know everything.